I'm a community person, you know, so I, if I see something out in the community that ain't right, you know, with all the violence and, you know what I mean, things, attacks going on, gun violence, you know, you, 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 you want your people in the community to step up as well. Well, our country has unfortunately been on the wrong end of too many mass shootings and other attacks involving other forms of weapons in recent years. But thankfully, another crisis was averted in Columbia, South Carolina at a Walmart earlier this month. A man with a knife walked into the store, apparently with the intention of cutting everyone up in the store. He was threatening them, wielding the knife. But this man, you just saw him there in the white outfit, the white top and the jeans. He is a retired U.S. veteran. Well, he used his military skills that he learned from his service to save the lives of everyone in the store that day. You see it there. Demario Davis joins us now here on Newsmax to tell his story. Demario, it is so great to have you there. Uh, by the way, I know Columbia very well. I know where that Walmart is. Uh, I went to University of South Carolina. I'm a Gamecock. Um, go Gamecocks. So, yeah, go Gamecock. <laughs> uh, and go you, uh, because this video is unbelievable to see. I want to show it again, because when you see it, walk us through that day. Uh, you know, you go to the Walmart, right? Uh, you went with your son. Talk about sort of what you saw and what you heard, first off, because this guy was screaming at everybody. It was really frightening. Yes. It, it really was. Um, well, me and my son, we were at the checkout. We were at the checkout counter. Um, that's when the guy walked in with the knife, and my son noticed him. And my son's like, Dad, he has a knife. So um, the guy proceeded to go to the customer service desk where he was wielding the knife and going at the young ladies that were behind the desk. And um, I came up with one of the employees, and I asked, where was the security? And um, they, she was like, I'm the security. So as um, the guy's yelling and threatening everyone, as you can see in the video, he's he's waving around. He's very erratic. So um, I just can't, I kind of just saw him when he could get get basically a, a chance to get him. You know, he was just moving around a lot. Everyone was standing there looking, pulling out their phones. And like I said, well, I, I went in the military um, October 17, 2001. Um, that was around 9-11 time. And so everything we were trained on during that time was for basically situations like this. When you have to neutralize the situation. So um, I saw the line divider and I just kind of beeline to it. You know, I, I really didn't want to, I didn't want to make eye contact with him. I mean, he kind of turned and looked at me at one point, but I just kept going. And so as he turned his back, you know, I just saw my moment. So you pick up the line divider, um, and it's one of those things that, like, sort of separates the lines, you know, in It was stores. actually still attached to the line. I was going to say. So, okay, so it's attached to the line. What did you think, okay, why did you pick that? It's an interesting use for I a line that, divider. Well, when, I, when I saw it, I was like, okay, so I know I could pull it, and if I hit him with it because it was heavy enough, I could take him out. But um, if I missed him, I could fight him off with it. Like, if you came towards me, you know, maybe I could... But um, like I said, um, I just took my time. I mean, I didn't think twice. I just went ahead, I saw the line divider. I saw my moment, I took my chance and just tried to save some lives, that's all. What is your advice uh, for others in the military and law enforcement, people who have training, um, who happen to be, thankfully as you were, at the right place at this time? Uh, do you encourage them to stand up if they're trained? Obviously, we don't want people yeah. to pick yeah. up line dividers. You don't want right. me to be picking up a line divider. Uh, yeah. I'll count on you to do that. But what's your advice yeah. to other people who do have that great I'm training? Not, I'm especially? not going to necessarily say I, I encourage it, but I'm a person that you have to stand up for people who can't stand up for themselves. Um, and if you're able to, if you have the skill and the courage to stand up for folks when, you know, our law enforcement isn't around or our military isn't around, you know, I would, like I said, it, n none of the guys I went to the military with or any of my, my friends would have not done that. So we, 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 I would suggest that help if you can help. Well, we are thankful you are there, as is everybody, I'm sure, in that store. Uh, Demario Davis, thank you. And thank you for your great service to our country and for doing what you did there. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Thank you so much. Beamer ball. <laughs> thank you. And go Gamecocks, too. <laughs> go thank Gamecocks. You. Thank All you right. very much.
Hey guys, it's Rob Carson. Your retirement funds are being threatened with even more losses from record inflation, recession, and skyrocketing interest rates. Fortunately, the highly trained specialists at American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. If you call them right now, it's a special offer. They will give you a free gold coin on your first qualifying order, so don't wait. Call 866-935-4309. That's 866-935-4309 or text Newsmax to 65532. That's Newsmax to 65532.